been doing with these small trial sites. Um, we've got sort of probably over 200 of these sort of areas demonstrating that uh, you can use animals to regenerate um, grasslands. So all we do is sort of simulate sort of that grazing management. So we'll put them on for a short period of time. And the aim is if it's bare, that you crack the, um, the cap on the soil, get some soil to seed contact and get the grasses to germinate or get something to germinate and establish. And when that's fully established, then we repeat. So, uh, and I'll be talking more about this tomorrow, when it's the grasses, uh, the perennial grasses have recovered fully, they'll have fresh litter in them, which goes to building that landscape function. So, overwhelmingly where we do this, uh, we can get it to go back to perennial and you actually get to check what's in the viable soil seed bank and, uh, and then you can sort of start working about well, if I can do that in a small area, how do I start to do that in a bigger area? Um, and I found that people use these for um, checking that seed bank, checking recovery, um, doing those sort of things. But we push it to the extreme on stocking stock density. So I've, I've found that um, a lot of the guys that I work with, if it takes five years to get recovered and things like that, that's too long for... A, I was going to say for a lot of Y chromosome carriers. So, you know, so, so if we can get an answer in 12 months about what's happening here, then people start to do it. So this, the key though, and the secret is that anything that germinates and established, you're not going to take it off. You're going to use it as litter to put back onto the soil. So they're not in here to eat the animals. That the purpose is to just use the feet to garden on a small area until we learn what the recovery is, what that viable soil seed bank is.